welcome back. So previously, we've been able to set up our endpoints to log in a user, to also create read update expenses. For now, when we go to like get expenses, we are able to get a list. Although I noticed we have a problem. So right now, when I come and log out here, let's say we come to authorize and then log out, and then try to make the same same API call. So if we do execute, notice that our application crashes. And we wouldn't want this to happen to our application. So for us to be able to fix that, notice that we wrote permissions and not permission classes. So this should be permission classes. So please remember to update it. So permission classes, also make sure it's the one you have here. And then if we come back and try the same request, you can see that we get unauthorized and then we can't be, the application doesn't crash. So we send back a correct response. So it makes sense. So the next thing I'm gonna want to do so actually, let me log in back. Let me log in here, execute. Okay, so let me get the access token. So it should be here. And then, let me collapse this. Code collapse, yes. So let me add it here, authorize. They are run, then the token, click authorize. And now, when I go to get the list, you can see that we get a humongous, a humongous list. So it's going to always be good to paginate this. So for us to be able to paginate them, here on the REST framework documentation, they provide like ways for you to paginate. So you need to add a key, some keys in the REST framework config in, in, in your settings.py file. So I'm gonna copy this. So in the settings.py, where we have, where we have our REST framework, which is here. So right here, I'm going to paste this, because add a comma there. So we add a default pagination class, and then this is the class that's gonna be used for all the views. So all the views that do like uh, return a list, it's going to be using this. So for now, if I come back into the, on the application, and then I execute it again, you notice that we get the count, the next, the previous, and then the results. Now the results contain our, our what? The results contain our, basically our objects. But what I want to do is use another type of pagination. So here you can see that it's using the limit offset one. So, but I'm gonna use page number pagination. Okay, so once we save that, so if we come back here and then go to get, you can see that it's going to request for a page number. So by default, of course, you're gonna be passing in one so I'm gonna pass one here and then click execute. So you see we haven't logged in. So let me log in real quick. Password is the same as the name. So this should be gmail.com. And then when I execute, I get the token. So I'm gonna copy this, go to authorize, and then authorize this, of course. So now when I go to list my, my expenses and then click execute, you can see that we basically get quite the same thing, but you can see that now this is going to like page one. So if I have more pages, let's say we go to the create, let me collapse this one. Let's go and post more. Okay, so you so now it's trying it's using a hundred as the page size, so it won't give us links when we don't have more than hundred. But let's say we put like five, but of course this will always depend on your use case. So if we put five there and reload. Oh, we need to log in again. But I'm sure our token is still valid, so we can still use it. Authorize. And then if we go to get, put like one, then execute, you can see that we get our links. So this is page one, so we don't have a previous one. But if we put like page two and then execute, yeah, so you can see we get the previous and the next one. So I'm changing this one to use page number. Then I'll set this one to 10. Because I find page number like really easy to work with, like when you when you like creating the front end for this page number is always easy to work with. But of course, feel free to come to the this documentation and see what's possible, so you can get different view of things. So I'm going to be pausing the video here. If it helped you in one way or the other, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.